Good morning everyone. I Dhanwesh Joshi of class 9. Welcome you all to the series of Coffee with Orange Sheets. Today we have Gauri as our guest. Welcome Gauri to the fourth episode of the series. Thank you Dhanwesh. I am pleased to be part of the series. So, how is your day going on? It's going good. Let's start with the easy question. What you would have been doing if you were not here right now? I would be sipping coffee with my mother. That's really interesting. So, starting of the new session, how is it going? It's going pretty smoothly. How are your studies going on? Studies. Can we talk about this later? Sure. But what happened? Why did you become so irritated all of a sudden? Um, nothing. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm so fed up answering the same question. It's okay. Relax. This is a normal question. But you know, this kind of behavior is very common in today's kids. Which behavior are you talking about? Just as you overreacted. Okay, let's talk about this. Can you tell me why children of our age get so aggressive on just such small things? I don't know. Actually, this happens with me a lot. I get so angry at so pretty things. This happens because children of our age are spending time online, playing games with their friends, and chatting with their friends online, rather than going outside and play with them or have conversations face to face. Um. Okay. Can you tell me why this happens among teenagers especially? Uh, maybe because we are more fascinated about social world instead of. interacting with our physical world we are so much engaged in chatting with our online friends that we forget that we have our other world too maybe this is the reason why we are losing our patience or becoming aggressive absolutely moreover you know we are not spending time with our parents we are not mm-hmm. sitting with them we are not owing to them due to this a lot of differences has come you know children uh, children nowadays prefer to stay at home and play games rather than going outside hmm Social media have really negative impact on our life. More than 60% of youth are active social media user, and they spend two hours or more than that on Instagram or other social app. If we pay this much attention to anything, have an everlasting impact on our life, whether we notice it or not. Of course, see, today's use is tomorrow's future, and we ought to use internet to build ourselves. Uh, but instead, we are using it to destroy ourselves uh, and others. And the worst part is that we don't even notice it. Hmm. Excessive use of social media leads to social isolation, depression, and other problems. You know that one of my brother friend is in depression. Oh, that's really sad. I mean, what happened to him? Actually, he used to play online games. Slowly and gradually, his time for sitting on screen increased, and his parents saw a really weird change in his nature. Like he was becoming really angry on such small things. Then they consulted a doctor who told them that he was under depression. Now he is under treatment but is lagging behind his studies. That's really sad. Teenagers of our age must learn from these experiences that how harmful can internet be when it is used in a negative way. I have seen many cases in which students between the age 15 to 24 play online games in excess and they start suffering from depression. Hmm, exactly. As you have asked me a lot of questions, now it's my turn. So sir, can I Sure. Hmm. Have you heard the name of games like PUBG, Fallout 3, or have you ever wanted to play them? Yes, I remember those games. When these come, games were starting to get popular, I wanted to play them, but my parents never allowed me to play them. And after like two or three months, my neighbor's son uh, committed suicide because he had lost a lot of matches. And after that, I didn't even think to play those games. Okay. You know, there are other reasons of anger issues uh, in today's youth, except. excessive use of in, uh, internet other reasons such as such as like today's youth is very conscious about the relationships they come in relation with someone it gets serious which distracts their mind from studies and if they lose that person they start suffering from depression actually the sign of depression are aggression and anger issue if a person is under stress then he or she may become aggressive which may lead to depression absolutely just tell me how to overcome from this it's really easy to be peace and be patient when you wake up in the morning you should do some exercise yoga or meditation after that you need to be positive all day and don't let any negative thought come in your mind if you are becoming aggressive try to calm your anger by counting up to 10 and be engaged in sports and studies i feel that by this you will be able to overcome your anger issues and aggression That's very really informative. And one more thing, show gratitude to God, and you will see a really positive change in your life. Are you able to imply these changes in your life? Yes, as I told you, 
that I'm a short tempered person, these things did help me a lot to overcome my anger and I am seeing a really positive response. It is inspiring to hear your journey towards managing your anger and finding your inner peace. Thank you Gauri for your, uh, sharing these tips today. Thank you Danvansh for giving this opportunity. I feel that our chair did encourage our listeners to give priority to their mental health. Absolutely. And seek support when needed and cultivate healthier habits. Definitely. Take care everyone and remember to be positive. Until next time, goodbye and take care and stay tuned in all your international school.